and the electricity stays on. <laughs> Lo and behold, people are leaving. 500 taxpayers a day pick up and leave the state of California. Did you know that? 500 people a day pick up and permanently leave the state of California. Now, in my campaign for governor, you're going to start seeing some of my television ads. And let me give you a preview of one of them. I'm going to be standing there at the California-Nevada border with a camcorder filming the U-Haul trucks as they zip by. And unfortunately, it's not just the nearby states that are giving us this competitive pressure now. We compete with the whole world, of course, thanks to the Internet and the global economy. Who are three of our largest international competitors now? Well, India, China, Russia. Let's just talk about those three countries for a second. These three countries did not matter to us at all, economically speaking, as little as 15 years ago. Well, that's changed. Add up all the people who live in those three countries, three billion people. Now, if you assume that 90% of them are uneducated peasants, which is basically the case, you're still left with 300 million people, highly educated, business people, scientists, engineers, and entrepreneurs, that for the first time in the history of our planet, these people can compete with us just fine by staying put and plugging in. So let me ask you, what happens when you unleash 300 million new entrepreneurs into the global economy in a very short period of time? Well, you get rapid change. You get exponential change. I mean, look what's going on at the universities now. USC, UCLA, I know, I've learned on the campaign trail, I always have to mention both of those schools at the same time. <laughs> Freshman engineering students at both of those schools, 50% of what they study now, obsolete uh, by their third year. Um, Facebook. Facebook has over 200 million active users. If Facebook were a country, it would be the fifth largest in the world. Uh, there are more text messages sent yesterday than there are people on the whole planet. In China, there are more people studying English than speak English in the United States. Oh, sad. And that fact is true even if you consider Governor Schwarzenegger an English speaker. <laughs>